Okay. Can you guys crack your neck or get comfy in your chair? Because we're now we're doing the six tactics to generate free online leads. Are you ready? So here's what we're gonna do. You're going to schedule Facebook posts is one thing that you're gonna do. You're gonna share single property listing is another thing you're gonna do. Post seller squeeze pages, leverage Zillow, write a blog post, and post a pic on Instagram. Are you ready? So first tactic, you're gonna schedule Facebook posts. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the Facebook scheduler because we have a Facebook business page, I hope. <laughs> For some of you, I know some of you don't, but you're gonna get one, you're gonna make one. Um, and you're gonna schedule out these posts over the next week. Um, and then, you know, once these posts publish, you can share one, maybe two different posts to your personal page as well. So um, I've got a little plan here. Monday, you're going to schedule the market report squeeze page. Tuesday, you're gonna schedule the seller squeeze page. Wednesday, one of a listing, any listing, your listing, somebody's listing, um, squeeze page. Thursday, a multi-property squeeze page um, of some sort, maybe the reduced properties. And then Friday, the weekend open house list. So um, I've got a little pictures here of how you can actually do it. And we're gonna do it right now, okay? We're gonna do one together so that you can see what the heck I'm talking about. So we're gonna go here to our links that we made. And let's pretend, what did I say? Monday is going to be, um, Monday's gonna be market report day? Okay. So I'm gonna copy this link here. And I'm going to put the short link into the URL here because I want to grab the link from the entire, the large long link. Okay, I just want the long link here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this whole long link and I'm gonna go to my Facebook business page. So here I am, I'm gonna write a post, I'm gonna click here and I am going to paste the whole long link. It's fetching the preview. Okay, great. Once this, this link is previewing like it is, I can get rid of all this gobbledygook. And I'm gonna say, are you curious about the 49506 zip um, about the market? Are you curious about the market, the real estate market? Are you curious about the real estate market in the, it's well, this that particular zip code is a really popular zip code in my area, okay, you guys? Because we've got East Grand Rapids and East Town, it's just like cool and hip and swanky or whatever. So, people are curious about it. Um, get your free market report right here. Smiley face, people like smiley faces. If I want to be really cute, I can actually add an emoji, all right, by clicking here. And where's my smileys? Where's my smileys at? Here they are, they're coming. Oh, I could do a couple. Um, I'll just do a little house. That's cute, okay. And then if I scroll down here, you see it's got this huge carousel of pictures. Um, I could actually, if I really, really want to, I could click choose file to upload and I could choose um, another picture. I'm just gonna click this one right here for funsies. Now, I never wanna drag a picture on to this. If I drag a picture, it's gonna try to destroy the whole link, so you don't drag it. But you can upload another picture and include it. Now, if I really wanna get fancy, I can click all of these other ones off um, and one thing about this is it's always going to demand that one of these pictures, that one of the pictures that it gives you shows. Um, so you, you have to have at least one of the pictures show, but you can have your picture that you select to be the first one. All right. 
Um, I just wanted to show that to you, but I don't care about this. I'm going to, I'm going to keep all of my local pictures here and I'm going to let them be the main, um, the main feature, or I could just choose one. Um, sometimes I like to choose the most dynamic looking picture. And then what's cool is you'll notice it'll say here, free real estate market report for 49506. So that's fun. So let's just look at it. Are you curious about the real estate market in 49506 zip code? Get your free market report right here. And then it says free real estate market report for 49506. And now from here, I can schedule this. So for my market report, I'm going to click schedule. And I want this to schedule on Monday, which is the 9th. And I'm going to have it schedule at 9 a.m. Eastern time, because that's me. And now I'm going to schedule it. And then click schedule post. Okay. So what I'm going to do, and we're not, I'm not going to do this right now, but you are. You're going to go through each one of the squeeze pages we just created. And you are going to go through and you're going to schedule on your business page. Um, this plan, Monday's the market report, Tuesday's a seller squeeze page, Wednesday's some sort of listing, either your most expensive listing, least expensive listing, favorite listing, your own listing. Um, Thursday, maybe the reduced property squeeze page, or maybe you'll create a new squeeze page, like all the, all the homes in your area that have at least four bedrooms and two full bathrooms, or at least two acres of land, or I don't care. Have fun. We'll do one more. I didn't, I'm not using the long link, but it still worked. Sometimes if you don't use the long link, um, you use just the short link, the whole, the, uh, the, the link won't preview with the pictures, but it worked. So that's nice. So um, I am going to say check out, looking for a deal, looking for a deal. Check out these recently reduced properties in Grand Rapids. Let me know if you have cues. Exclamation point. Okay. And then I'm, I'm going to get rid of all these because I like just one. I like just one picture to show, I like the most dynamic picture to show. And then I'm going to schedule, but this time I'm going to be slow. And this one, I was going to be Thursdays is what I was going to do. So you, you can decide on your own schedule. I'm just giving you an idea. And I usually like to do it like between, you know, 830 in the morning and 11 in the morning, but you can choose your own when you want these to go and then schedule and then schedule post and then be patient. <laughs> okay. You can look under publishing tools under this little drop down of more here. Schedule posts. There it is. And so from here I can click on it and see it and I can edit it or change it or reschedule it. There it is. And that's what it looks like. Okay, is if you look at this slide here, once it's on your business page, you can actually choose to share it to your business page, but you, to your personal page, but you have to, you have to do it as um, yourself. You can't be your business page sharing to your personal page. Because some people say, oh, I think Facebook isn't going to let me share it to my personal page. Well, the reason that it's not letting you share it to your personal page is because you're on there as your business. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's say I want to share this one. So do you see this little guy? This, I know I'm sharing here as, as she sells GR. I don't want to share as myself because I want to share it to my personal page. And the only way I can do that is by selecting me and then sharing. And then I have to go, and I want to share now public. I want to control it. So I'm going to hit share. And then I can just include the original post, which I'm going to do, or I could say something about it. Um, I could, I'm not going to right now, but I could. And then 
post it. Post. And you want to make them, you can choose to make them public or just your friends, but you want it to be public um, so that more people will see the post. Because if you do it just so that just your friends see it, uh, that's not helping you. Okay? All right. So that's what you do there. Um, the next one is some a lead generating tactic to share your listing. So you can share a single property squeeze page, and I already taught you how to create one, and we've got them saved, but you can share that single property squeeze page um, to your Facebook. You can also ask your friends and your fans on your Facebook business page to share it. Like, hey guys, I really need help getting this listing exposed. I need to find a buyer for this land listing <laughs> that I have, for example. Could you do me a favor and share it and ask your friends, your Facebook friends, if they know of anybody who might be interested in purchasing land? You could also take it a step further and take this page link and Facebook message people um, that you know, friends of yours, and just say in a new message, like, you know, put the link in here, say, hey, so-and-so, would you please help me promote this listing? Because I, I really need to find a buyer. I know that you have some great contacts. Could you please share this on your personal page and ask anybody if they know somebody who's interested in building their own home on a piece of land? So that's one thing, you know, you could do like 10 people. You know, if you message 10 people and then ask your Facebook friends to share it to, you know, just whatever. So that's one thing to do. The other thing to do is take that link and send it to your database. Um, maybe you've got, you know, all your, hopefully you have a database or you have a CRM of some sort. Maybe you're using KV Core. Maybe you're using another CRM. Maybe you just have, you know, contacts in your Gmail account, a list of contacts. I don't know, hopefully you have somebody, email addresses for somebody, friends, family, neighbors, work associates from your former job, whatever the case may be, and you can email them list and say, hey, I just got this listing or I still have this listing and I'm trying to find a buyer for it. Who do you know who might be interested in buying a home in this area or building a home on this land or whatever the case may be? The other magical thing to do is to ask your seller to share the listing. Um, if you say, here, seller, here is your single property um, website. Please share this on your Facebook page or, or on your social media or send it in an email to your friends and family or text it to your friends or work colleagues and tell them that you've listed your house and ask them if they know anybody who would like to move to your neighborhood. That is a magical one. You will get lots of leads that way, okay? Um, the other thing to do, because you, you guys are eventually gonna have a YouTube um, channel, is you're going to maybe create a listing video, and then in the YouTube description, you're gonna add the squeeze page in that listing video. And you can also post to Google My Business as just a free post. You do not have to pay for it. So those, that's another tactic you can use. Lead gen tactic number three, post a seller squeeze page. And we created two seller squeeze pages. Um, you should have done that one for your county, one for your city or township, whatever you got. Okay. Um, and you know, when the preview, when the picture preview comes up, it looks like this. It's this dumb house in the winter with a big dumb question mark and people hate it. But you know what? It works. <laughs> and I get leads from it. So don't worry about it. Just go with it. If you really, really want to change the picture or add other pictures, you can do that little thing I showed you at the very beginning. Um, this picture always has to be in there, but you can add other pictures to the front of it if you hate it. But it works. It works. And it's there for a reason. So just go with it. It's going to be fine. Okay, so I've got a couple different um, places, ideas for you where to post this. Now, if you have the Nextdoor app and you use Nextdoor, 
and you use it as a neighbor, somebody that's helping other people find their lost cats or complaining about the noise down the street or the barking dog or the police at the end, whatever. <laughs> I am on next door. And, um, and so um, I try to interact, you know, and be as neighborly as possible so people know me. And I also invite, because um, you can invite for free using the next door app on the website, you can invite for free um, your nearby neighbors a postcard. Next door will send them a postcard with your little picture on it <laughs> that says Sylvia D invited you to the next join the next door app, you know, and, and here's a code. And then they come on and then, you know, so I invite people every all the time I can get. And every time somebody accepts my invitation, next door lets me know that I got a hundred more postcards I can send. And I do that all the time. Um, so anyway, you want to kind of become a neighbor anyway and then you can start sharing things the problem with next door is people especially other realtors who are on next door will like complain and next door is really picky about real estate agents um you know promoting themselves they don't care apparently if any you know any other type of people promote themselves <laughs> like you'll see all kinds of people like hey i'm a handyman i do this hey i sell um you know Security systems, call me for this. Hey, I do painting and call me for this. And apparently that's fine. But if you're a realtor, they hate you. But you can be sneaky. And some ways that you can be sneaky um, is just by the way you word things. Now in Nextdoor, you can also be a sponsor. And in my neighborhood, my zip code is super cheap. It's like $32 a month, so I do it. But, um, but you know, this I'm trying to teach you to do things with having no money. So. You can give it a shot on Nextdoor to post this. And here is the actual um, uh, copy that I use. And I'm going to put this in the chat right now. And I got this from Jonathan Dupree a year and a half ago. A lot of my friends asked me about the value of their home. So I thought I'd share this tool. Follow the link and enter your address. Oops, your, your address to get your instant home value. Enjoy, or presto, or have a good time, <laughs> or whatever you want to say, something like that. And it's casual. And you know what? Before somebody complains and your post gets removed, you'll probably get a few leads. Now, when I first did this a year and a half ago, I got 150 leads. Um, so um, that's worth a try. You can also post on your Facebook business page and share it to your personal page. You can post on my Google My Business page as a free post. Um, and if you do decide you want to spend money, you can do a free instant home value ad on Google My Business. But again, don't, don't worry about, about it. Try to get the leads for free first. Um, also, I encourage you on your email signature link. Remember in KV Core, we created our signatures or we talked about creating signature. You can add your link, get your instant home value and make that sentence a link um, to the seller squeeze page. So people click on it to get their instant home value. Just every time you send an email, you're asking people to get their instant home value. Okay, so that's another tactic. All right, number four, leveraging Zillow. If you go to Zillow and you search in, you know, your county and your city and a zip code or whatever, Search for the types of sellers that are make me move sellers or for sale by owners. Because if you do that, you will find um, their phone numbers and you can put them in your KV core and start texting them or calling them or sending them snail mail or going to their door. And that's a free lead. So let me sh show you. Most of you probably already know this, but what the hell? I'll just show you anyway for those like, wow, this is blowing my mind. Tell me more. I'm going to show you. All right. So Grand Rapids, Michigan. You can tell you saw Costa Rica and Laguna Beach. That's where I want to go. Okay. All right. Um, so for sale, I'm going to click here the for sale. Oops. And um, we're gonna click on 
for sale by owner, oops, So by, or, by owner, that's one. And then potential listings, we'll see um, make me move. So I'm gonna uncheck these. All right, there. So make me move and, potential, and for sale by owner. So those are the ones that we we're gonna do. Now make me move, those are people that are just put their, their um, house up there and um, you know, people on Zillow will say, oh, you know, I'm interested in this house, and they can contact the property owner before they enlisted it and just do their own deal. Okay, that can be a thing. I know I, that happens. Um, uh, or you'll see for sale by owners. So where, whatever it is, you click on the property and you scroll down. Okay, so down at the bottom. So first of all, um, I, I don't ever fill this out and send the email it, because I think it is gonna go to the property owner, but I'm not for sure, I don't use that. I, I'm afraid of what that is. <laughs> but you'll see all these premier agents that pay for being a premier agent come up first. Um, but then here's the property owner, here's their phone number. And then I can even go to RPR, Realtors Property Resource, or I can go to the county records I, and just find out the person's name. And then I can put them in my KV Core and my smart CRM, put their phone number and their name and their address. And then I can start doing stuff. I can call them, I can send them a text, uh, I can go to their door, I can mail them, okay? Write a blog post. Has anybody yet written a blog post in their KV Core? It isn't great, but it works. <laughs> um, here's one challenge for you. You could write a blog post about the market and you can use content from Realtors Property Resource. And I have links in this, by the way, these are all links in this document I shared with you links to these places in case you haven't done these things yet and don't know about RPR. If you don't, you should. Um, so you can get this content from RPR. You can get content from Realtors Content Resource for blog posts. Um, Keeping Current Matters is a paid service. Um, I think the, the lowest price is $14 a month, but again, we're doing free. So concentrate on RPR a Realtors content resource. You can also get market information, obviously, from your own MLS and your board. So find content, and it doesn't have to be a lot of content, just a little content. Um, and then write something about your market in your blog post, and then include a market squeeze page, and maybe also a seller squeeze page links into the blog post, and then share that blog post on LinkedIn. LinkedIn's a good place to share a blog post, especially about real estate market stuff. Um, next door, that might be a sneakier way to try to get away with sharing content. Like, hey, I wrote this article about our neighborhood or about you know, housing affordability in our neighborhood or our zip code. Um, check it out, you know, whatever you can come up with to share on next door, you know, Twitter, maybe you're a Pinterest person, blog post, share a blog post on Pinterest. Um, some people use Reddit. I know a lot of the kids these days use Reddit and you do have an incredible amount of great information on Reddit. Actually, I never use it. I'm trying to learn. <laughs> it's too much to do. Um, Facebook, of course, you can also email it to your database, your sphere, like, hey, I just wrote this article about a market, our real estate market. Do you have any questions about the real estate market? So, so that's what you can do now. I did, um, if I was a good girl, I did link this to a blog post I made just for you to show you what I'm talking about. Did this in KB Core. One thing I, I want to tell you about when you create a blog post in KB Core, you guys, is you're going to want to first write it up, like, in some other program, like I did it in my notes section on my Mac. Um, just write something up there. 
or like in a Word document, write it somewhere else, you know, just to have the copy, all right? And then um, once you create the blog post, um, then you can just paste it, you know? So here's my little blog post, Grand Rapids Real Estate Market Activity Report, and this is actually a link, you guys. And then here's my other links, get your free custom report now, custom market report, get your instant home value now. And then I just took this, a copy, this picture from RPR Squeeze uh, Market Report I had made. Um, and then I just took the information from the RPR Market Report and just kind of typed it up real quick and just some basic information, estimated home values, um, you know, distressed properties, median home sales price for, you know, blah, blah, blah. I just, you know, something little, it's this there, okay? If you guys don't know about, is there anybody who doesn't know about RPR? I just want to show you. Um, this is, these are the reports here. This is where I got the content that you can create in RPR. Um, an example of one, you can also create great school reports, neighborhood reports. They're really cool. Um, I do out my CMAs or, you know, I do a couple different CMAs when I'm list, doing a listing presentation or a home valuation but I do consult with RPR as well. Um, I make property flyers. I do all kinds of stuff in RPR. Um, anyway, that's where I got the content. Sixth. All right. So our other lead gen tactic is, is to try posting on Instagram. So now with Instagram, there's not really ways in a specific post to post a, a clickable link. Um, there are some paid ways and some sneaky ways and, and you know, some of the Instagram TV thing. And you can be, but if you're just dumb like me when it comes to Instagram, <laughs> the, the, there is one place you can post um, a link and that is in your Instagram bio. Um, but the other thing that you can do is just use the call capture. So um, you might create a, a graphic, um, maybe from our EXP Marketing Center, you'll find a graphic um, and then can just find an easy way to put text on it. Or you'll use something like PicMonkey or Canva. A lot of you have heard about Canva. I use PicMonkey. It's just a, and then this does cost a little. I think Canva has a pretty good free version from what I've heard to do simple graphics. And so all I did was I found a PNG um, image of this millions match and I pasted it on top of this fall picture and I wrote searching for a home this fall, text one, two, three to this number. And then they're gonna get, remember that a reply we sent of my millions map app? Remember, that's what they're gonna get. If, and so I'm gonna post this on Instagram. And, um, and I do this from my phone. And so I take, send this picture in an email to my email. And so from my phone, I'm going to grab that picture and then I'm going to post it to Instagram and ta-da, see what that does. It may or may not do anything, but you know what? Exposure, exposure, and exposure over and over and over again. Don't let people forget about you. The final thing I want to say is that you, we didn't talk in this training about anything about what the hashtags can do and sorting your leads with your hashtags or, or activating campaigns with your hashtags. But we did set up campaigns so when it, a lead comes in, it will get responded to um, before you get to it, before you can call it or manually email something more personal or whatever the case may be. I took you from having nothing and did, you know, just being able to log into your KV4 website to creating a whole lot of lead generating links and strategies. What I want to just leave you with, I want to make sure you know, for anybody who's new with me or hasn't been on in a long time, I have this YouTube channel that's geared towards real estate agents and especially my trainings. And if you go to my playlists, um, I've been doing this new um, training called the Magical Series. And I'm gonna put in here, into the chat, the link. And you're gonna, you can start at the beginning. If you're in, if you need more in depth, slower, piece by piece training, you can start here. I've got these shorter videos. Everything about everything. 
that I've been working on. And these keep getting added to. I'm, this, this particular training, we're just in the beginning of it really. So if there's something that's not there, like you need more with campaigns or whatever the case may be, you can find the play, all my playlists. You know, I've got the camp, KB Core campaign playlist. You know, how to set up your website playlist, which is more in depth. How to build a squeeze page what to do with it, which we've still been working on and is more in depth. So there's, I just wanted to point that out.